What's up guys and welcome to the Traveling Circus and the newest series called Building Your Own Trophy Bass Lake. I wanted to document a little something that's going on in my life right now that is very special. It's a really unique opportunity and it's something I'm really, really excited about. You may ask, why are you swatting mosquitoes and standing in the woods? It's very simple because we're going to turn something that looks like this into a trophy bass lake and I'm going to show you how through a series of videos that are gonna take a little time because we're right in the beginning of this. You may hear some dozers running over my shoulder. They're pushing dirt around and we are gonna check it out. I'm gonna talk you through it, I'm gonna walk you through it. This is a really cool story about this entire thing. I'm really excited, so let's go. So you may be asking yourself, self, where is Luke building this? Well, that is one of the unique parts of this story. It is me, my dad, and my brother. This is on our family farm. We've got about 100 acres that we purchased earlier this year. As a lot of you know that keep up with the traveling circus, I lost my mom last October, October 20th. We wanted to do something in her memory, something that the family would enjoy, that we could always think of her when we were using it and utilizing it, so to speak. So we were able to find some land and you can see old rough land that is literally on the road she grew up on it's where a lot of my family is from born and raised and it's about 30 minutes from where i live so we were able to find us some land get a good deal on it and it is it got hit by a tornado this property about 20 years ago and they clear cut it and then they left the natural hardwood regrowth come back up so you can see there most of it looks like this there's actually one field on this place but most of it looks like this when we got to walking around some of these little hollers as we call them in tennessee and valleys we thought man we might be able to make us a small lake we're talking about less than five acres it's more of a pond to some folks but it's a lake to us and we're going to build a little cabin out here and this is just going to be our family spot for the rest of our lives okay so we had this crazy idea we talked to a guy that builds a lot of lakes we got him to come look at it we flagged some stuff off and i'm actually starting this series after a lot of the work has been done because it looked like this right here okay looks a little different now so i'm going to take you down here you can hear the dozers running we're going to go check it out right now you can see we just cut a road these dozers do a lot of work, <laughs> but they just cut right through these trees. And this will actually be the road that goes across the dam. Go right down here. Check this bad boy out. The first things I talked about, we were in the trees there. This is what this looked like. Well, they had to push all this down right here. And we'll have to burn all of this, of course. We'll use some of it as structure in the lake, I'm sure. It's probably a really good snake pile right now. But you can see right here, I am standing on this will be the back side of the dam right here. And let's go take a sneak peek at Lake Teresa, baby. Got this crew out here checking this out. And you can see this is the dam right here being built up. They have to take dirt from the bottom of the lake and push it up. So they shape the lake and then they push this up so they can get the elevation that they want. And it's gonna be pretty stinking deep by the time they get finished with it. So basically the lake is gonna be two big sloughs. This is one of them split by this point. So we're gonna walk this one right here, walk to the head of this one. And I'm standing where the water will hopefully be when we get the elevation up a little bit more. But you can imagine that in the spring, this will be a great spawning pocket right here. Just a really good place for them to get. We're hoping a lot of this stuff ends up in the water right here. But this is kind of one of the shallow pockets and you can see way down there is a dam but they're pushing this dirt this is going to end up being pretty deep with some steep banks especially on this side you can see it's going to be kind of a sharp drop on this side take you over here on the point 
where we hope to build a cabin one of these days right here and you will wake up to a view and giant bass right here so not a gigantic lake by any standards but absolutely it's gonna be heaven for us and hopefully these boys right here will get to enjoy it for a lot of years here comes dad trying not to flip this side by side <laughs> pretty stinking awesome though right here now just add water baby just add water all right now i'm standing in the second slough showed you the first one as you can see you're gonna have a really cool point that turns this is my favorite spot right here this will be really wide right here but they're still they're taking the dirt this is going to get deeper and deeper and deeper you can see i'm pushing that dam up right there these guys are, are gonna really push hard over the next couple days we got some big rain coming so we have not hit a spring in this lake which from what i'm told a lot of times is actually a good thing so we will be depending on rainfall which all the drainage in this area the reason we picked this spot kind of runs off of these hills and a lot of these ditches like this and will feed this lake so we just need a lot of rain but i'm standing on the water line right now as it will be till they get the elevation a little higher right here could not be more pumped though what do you guys think about it i think you're spoiled brats that's what i think because i never had my own trophy bass lake in my backyard that's what i think one of the greatest things about this farm other than the obvious that we're building a trophy bass lake is my mother was obsessed with butterflies she loved them there are thousands here right now and that puts a smile on all of our faces knowing that there's a little part of her flying around out here everywhere we see them constantly out here it's amazing actually uh we don't see them in our houses like this it's just really cool what's going on out here right now but thank you guys for watching this hope you enjoyed the first installment of course we got a long ways to go got to wrap this up and then we're going to start talking about cover we're going to build a boat dock so many things in this series but i want you guys to follow along as we build our own trophy bass lake thank you for watching and i'll see y'all next time <laughs>